So now we have our free weight copper sulfate in a crucible. Put the crucible on a clay pipe triangle, add the lid, and we heat it until such time as all of the blue hydrated copper sulfate turns into white and hydrous copper sulfate. So the question says 6.18 grams of blue copper sulfate, CuSO4XH2O, were heated and 3.91 grams of anhydrous white copper sulfate formula CuSO4 were obtained. What is the value of X there in the formula of blue copper sulfate? So the first thing you do is you write the chemical equation for what's happening. So you know that copper sulfate with X waters of crystallization is heated and it gives us copper sulfate and X waters. Next part, work out relative formula masses. Well, from our periodic table, we know that copper is 63.5. We know that sulfur is 32.1. We know that oxygen equals 16. And we know that hydrogen equals 1. So to work out the relative formula mass of copper sulfate, we add copper, which is 63.5 for that part, plus sulfur, which is 32.1 for the sulfur, and four oxygens, which is four times 16, because it's 04. If we add that up, the answer is 159.6. The relative formula mass of water is two hydrogens, which is two times one, plus oxygen, which is 16. So the relative form of the mass of water is 18. Part three, work out the number of moles of white copper sulfate that you've got. Now to do this, you need to use the equation. Number of moles is the weight you've got divided by the relative form of the mass. So to work out the number of moles of white copper sulfate they got, we use the weight that we got, which is 3.91. Not clear. Divided by the relative formula mass of the copper sulfate, which is 159.6. So the number of moles of white copper sulfate that we got, put in the calculator, is 0.0245. Work out how much water was lost. So when we started, we weighed the blue copper sulfate and we found there were 6.18 grams of that. And then at the end, we weighed the white and hydrous copper sulfate and we find there was 3.91 grams of that. So the remaining mass, the stuff that's lost, that's disappeared, is the water. So the water that was lost must weigh the difference between that and that. So to work out the mass of the water that you lost in grams, you take 6.18, take 3.91 grams away from that, the answer you get is 2.27 grams. Next part is, work out how many moles of water that was lost. So we use the same formula again, number of moles is the weight divided by the relative formula mass. So to work out the number of moles of water that was lost, the weight we just worked out is 2.27, and we divide it by the relative formula mass of water, which is 18, and when we put that through our calculator, the answer is 0 0.126. Look at the ratios of white copper sulfate to the water lost. So we know, because we've worked it out, the white copper sulfate, CuSO4, this stuff here, to water, that stuff there, because we've worked it out, is 0 0.0245, and the number of moles of water we've just worked out is 0 0.126.
divide by the smallest number. So this isn't a nice ratio to work with. So the smaller of the two numbers is 0 0.0245. So we say copper sulfate to water is 0 0.0245 divided by 0 0.0245. The water is 0 0.126 divided by 0 0.0245. When you put that through the calculator, the ratio you get of copper sulfate to water is 1, 0 0.0245 divided by 0 0.0245 is 1, and 0 0.126 divided by 0 0.0245 is 5.1, which with an experimental error is about 5. So the ratio of copper sulfate to water is about 1 to 5 which means the formula of the copper sulfate must be copper sulfate X, and X is 5. So the formula is CuSO4.5H2O.